Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween where I post a new tutorial every day in October. For today's look, I have this gold lion kind of look for you guys. This is inspired by Anna Lingus on Instagram and it is such a beautiful look. I loved it and so I had to recreate it. Basically, I'm just starting off by putting a foundation that's like way darker than my skin all over my face and shoulders and my neck. And then I am taking my Tarte Shape Tape in light and going ahead and putting that underneath my eyes to highlight and I really wanted there to be a major contrast between highlight and contour so that's why this is so light then popping some on my chin and my forehead as well then going underneath my my cheeks just to kind of start the contour to kind of even like start the beginning of that contour line Now I'm just baking underneath my eyes. I like to bake, especially for like a Halloween look. You don't want it to come off. If you're hot, you're sweating, and I think baking is the perfect way to do that. So I'm going on my forehead, my chin, and my under eyes. And I'm also sitting anywhere else that I put foundation and then dusting all of it off. Now I'm just, I went underneath on my neck and put on my bronzer to bronze my neck first. And now I am bronzing my cheeks, my forehead, and my temple. And I really wanted to be like super duper bronze and, you know, contoured. So you guys have to remember this is the Halloween look. You can go all out. You can add that extra contour that you would never usually wear. So I am like putting on an insane amount of bronzer. Now I'm going in and putting on an insane amount of contour so that it's really dark and like really defined. And this is my Kat Von D shade and light palette and that was my MAC mineralized skin finish in dark tan. Also just going along my hairline to darken things up there. Now I'm going underneath my cheeks to bake and to kind of really create that line and clean up the contour. And also putting a little more powder underneath my eyes, I really wanted it to be very bright under my eyes and we're about to do my eyeshadow and I didn't want there to be any fallout. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrow, both of them, eyebrows with a contour shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I know it's kind of like a warm tone color but I'm like a lion so I thought it worked really well. Now I'm just giving myself a self myself some wing liner and then going in with Americano mixed with frappe and tan lines from Makeup Geek. And I wanted to create kind of a cut crease and I think this is the easiest, fastest way to do it. Now I'm taking Americano on its own and going in and creating that cut crease. It's super easy when you do the liner first, then you kind of know where things go and you kind of can just wing it out and it goes really fast. Now I'm just popping Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek on my brow bone and on my lid and my inner corner of my eye. Now just popping on some mascara. And then my House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. These are perfect for this look. Super dramatic and pretty and kind of spiky and I love it. Now I'm going underneath my eye with some black eyeshadow. And then on towards the inner part, you kind of want to like let it go downward a little bit and then pull it into your nose to kind of create that like cat eye look to kind of open up your eye a little bit more. Now I'm just dusting off all of that bake, bake, baking, I don't know. And then I am going in and lining my lips with my Tarte Clay Pot Gel Liner. Basically just putting it on the top of my lips only. And you definitely want to use something that's going to stay on this part of your lip and not transfer to the bottom part of your lip. That's why I use this eyeliner because it is waterproof and amazing. And if you guys can hear a cat in the background, I do apologize. She will not stop meowing. And I'm also doing like kind of a little flick out to create more of like a cat lip and then pulling down 
my little nose line and then starting to fill in my nose with this line look you don't want to pull the like nose up too high I basically just fill in the flat part of my nose on the bottom of my nose and wrap it around my nostrils super easy and I didn't mention that earlier but this look is super duper easy super kind of pretty and and it would just be fun to be this. I wanted to be this. I, I really liked this look a lot. And it's it would be perfect for like last minute. Now I'm just contouring my nose a little bit to kind of pull everything together. Then just baking alongside my nose to kind of just really kind of set that nose contour. Now I'm going in with Champagne Pop and applying like a ton to my cheeks. I want it to be glowing gold lion. And also a little bit down the bridge of my nose, then dusting off that bake. Now just going in drawing my whisker like marks and this is my Lorac front of the line pro liner and just drawing all these tiny little dots like kind of around my, my lip nose area. And now for the gold flex. Basically, I took some hairspray. I would spray, and then I would take my gold flex and just put it in there. This was a little bit tricky because my fingers would get sticky, and, you know, you can imagine. But basically, you just kind of keep going until you like how much you have in your hair. And then I did the same thing on my neck. Just sprayed my neck, put it on, sprayed my neck, put it on. I got these gold flex or flakes from Michael's Craft Store. And my camera didn't record the rest of me putting this on my neck. But you guys kind of get the picture. It's pretty easy. Anyway, that is the end of this look. It's super simple and fun, pretty, and perfect for a last minute Halloween costume. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of the 31 days of Halloween. There's only a few days left. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Rare. Ram, 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 ram,